The extract type refactorings for TypeScript allow you to quickly extract a selected type into its own interface or type alias. Here, for example, you can see that this keys method has a pretty complex return type here. And we might want to extract this to an interface so that we can simplify the code, make it more readable, and also so that we could reuse that type in the future. So to get started, first I'm going to select the type that I want to extract. And to do that, I'm going to use the expand selection keyboard shortcut, which on Windows is shift alt and then the right arrow. On Mac, it would be shift control and command and then the right arrow. So I'm going to hit expand selection a few times until I get the entire type that I want to extract here. Now this little light bulb has appeared and that's indicating that there are refactorings available. So I'm going to click on this light bulb and here you can see the two refactorings that are available here. So I have extract to interface and extract to type alias. Let's just do extract to interface first. So when I selected this action, you can see that VS Code has actually gone and created a new interface here with the uh, selected type that we had before. And it's now asking me for the name of this new interface. And I'm going to just call this keys result. And sure enough, when we hit enter, we have this new interface keys result here. And that is also being used in the um, return type of this method here as well. Now let's just quote and quickly take a look at extract to type alias. Now this does pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to go onto the light bulb again and say extract to type alias now. But instead of using an interface, let me just do keys result again. It is using a type alias. Now you may prefer using either an interface or a type alias depending on your personal preferences and depending on linter rules. And in some cases you may prefer one or over the other. So those are the extract type refactorings for TypeScript. They're a great way to clean up your code and make some of the complex types that you may have inline reusable. If you find yourself using these often, you may also wanna set up a single keyboard shortcut for them so that you can quickly perform these operations.